Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're bringing you some new Microsoft Visio content. We're gonna be using Microsoft Visio Professional 2024 to create a floor plan. This video will serve as a guide if you want to know how to make floor plans in Visio. And this is one of the great features of Visio because it allows you to do auto calculations for square footage. For demonstration, I'm going to be creating a floor plan for the room that I'm in right now, which is my filming studio and office. Before we get started with this video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so we're about to log on to Microsoft Visio Professional 2024. If you're interested in purchasing this software, this is also something we have available at Indigo Software, and we'll have it in the description of this video. All right, so I've just opened Microsoft Visio. Let me enlarge this so we have a full screen layout here. And rather than a basic diagram or a blank drawing, I'm gonna search in the search bar here. And I'm just gonna type in floor plan. I'm gonna go down to new. And for online templates, I'm gonna search floor plan. This is going to give us some various floor plan templates to start from. And I think starting with any of these would be a great choice. If there's one that would apply best to your scenario, you can select that. And in my case, that would kind of be the office layout. So this is the one that I could go with, but I'm just going to go with floor plan because I want to show you guys the overall tools that you have access to in Visio. Let's go ahead and open floor plan. I'm going to keep this as US units, but you have the ability to change to metric if you'd like. Okay, so we're in here and basically what this template does for us is it takes our most common floor plan items. It's going to organize them here on the left. So a lot of the things that are common in floor plans are going to be accessible to us automatically. But of course, we can also search and find for additional Visio shapes. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with a rectangular room because that happens to be the room that I'm in. Now we can see that as I enlarge this, the dimensions themselves are changing. All right, guys, so this is the actual floor plan for my office that was provided by my apartment. So we've got the dimensions of this wall along with this closet and this bathroom. And so I'm gonna use this to calculate out total square footage. And that way I'll be able to build it out accurately. Okay, so we have uh, 14 feet by 11 roughly. So 14 foot and one inch to this wall. So that's gonna be 14 times 12 plus one. So we've got 169 inches. Okay, and then I'm gonna add uh, 72 plus seven, which is six feet and seven inches. So now we're up to 248. Finally, I've got an extra five feet, five times 12 is 60. So another 60 inches. And now we're at a total of 308. So we have 308 inches. And that's going to be the length. And then after that, we've got 11 feet. 11 times 12 is 132. So we have 132 inches. And that's going to serve as our basic square. So I'll go back to Visio, and I can actually input this directly into here. So if I right click on my shape and click properties, here we can select the width and length. Before I input that in my notepad, I'm going to convert this to a width and length specified by feet and inches rather than a fraction. So that's gonna be 25 feet, eight, 25 feet, eight inches long by, and if you need to figure this out for yourself, you can just take the total inches number and divide that by 12, which again, we had as 11, 11 feet. So we're gonna put 11 feet here and we're gonna put what was it, 25, eight, I think? Uh, yes, 25 feet, eight inches. So this is the shape that we have here. I'm gonna zoom way in on this so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Okay, so we have the basic shape of our room. And the next thing we need to do is add the closet and a separation for the bathroom. So. The easiest thing to do would be to add another uh, room here. I'm just gonna drag that on top of this. 
and I can specify the dimensions again. So again, that was right click, properties, and the width here, as we recall, is five feet, and the length will still be, actually, sorry, the width will be, is that right? Yeah, five feet by 11 feet. So these are the dimensions for the bathroom and I can just drag it and we can see that it's gonna snap in place on top of our already existing room. Now we know that the closet is six foot and seven inches by six foot and seven inches. So let's go ahead and throw in another room here. Right click properties and that's six foot seven inches by six foot seven inches. So we have a perfect square here that's going to go all the way down to the, actually in my exact setup, it's actually right here. So something like that. Okay. So we've got our room situated. Again, this is actually flipped from my actual layout. So my entry door is going to be here and my closet door is going to be here. So let's go ahead and add the door. That's going to be our next thing. So we see the door here. I'm just going to click and drag and I'll drop it right on top of the middle of one of these sections here. Now this door actually swings in and the hinge is actually on the right. So I can change that by doing reverse left slash right opening and also in and out. And now that is correct. By right clicking the door and hitting properties, I can also adjust the door height or the door width. In this case, I have three foot doors, which are 36 inches. And now that I've already configured this door the way that the other door is, I can control C or I can right click and copy or I can go to the home tab up here and press copy. And if I paste, so I'll just click paste up here, or I could do control V, it's going to paste it in the exact same way that I copied it. So I don't have to manually make all those adjustments again. So we'll put this door where it belongs, which is just in front of the other one. And then I will paste another door, and this door is going to open to the bathroom. All I have to do is rotate this door 90 degrees, and then I'll drag that over here. And this is now in the correct orientation. Okay, so we've got our doors, and the next thing that I have in this room in particular is a big sliding glass window. So the glider window setting in Visio is kind of perfect for what I need. I'm gonna click and drag this, and I will rotate it 90 degrees, and then I'll click and drag again until it's up against this wall, which is where it actually is. Now I'm a little unsure of the dimensions here, so the correct thing to do would be to measure it, but I'm just gonna guess it's maybe eight feet, so I'll change this, right click, properties, and eight feet would be 96 inches. And there we go. Let's see what else I need to add. So we've taken care of the doors. The next thing I might wanna do now that I have my basic floor plan is maybe I wanna calculate out the square footage I need to redo the floors. So for example, my bathroom is tile. Let's just say that's gonna stay the same, but I want to replace the carpet in here with a hardwood floor. So how am I gonna auto calculate out the square footage for this? Well, this is where Visio comes in very handy. I'm gonna click and drag over the L space. We could also use the T space or just the space itself. I'm gonna click and drag this into the open here and then I'm gonna rotate it. We can see the angle in the very bottom left of the screen. So I'll move it until it's exactly 90 degrees, which is a perfect right angle. Now I'm gonna drag this to where it needs to be. And if I click this, edge here, this little circle. I can click and drag this and I can cover the entire area. Now again, I'm calculating out the square footage for the floor. So maybe I'll just run it to the outside edge of the wall here. And then I can repeat that process. I can drag this to there. I'll drag this one up. And while I could continue manually fiddling with the adjustments, I can also just right click on this and click auto size. And that's going to fill it to fit within the structure that I just laid out, which is great. And as we can see, it's calculating out the square footage. So now if I were to order some square foot, for flooring, I know 176 is my exact, and so I might, you know, go 20% over that and place the order for that. Let's go ahead and build out the office a little bit more just to show you guys even more about what you can do in Visio. In the search bar, I'm gonna type office, and I'm not seeing a bunch that came up from that search actually other than the desk. So let's try something else. If I go to more shapes here, maps and floor plans, building plan, and then here I'll be able to select furniture. So let me go ahead and select furniture, and now we've got some things pulling up. Now let me go back to maps and floor plans again, and I can actually select office furniture, which might be a little bit more helpful for me in this case. So we can still see our other categories that were automatically inserted when we started this document. But now we have our office furniture and we're gonna use this to build out the office a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna take my desk from the furniture tab here 
And I know my desk is roughly this size, which again, I could adjust this if I'd like to with exact dimensions. And I have the desk against this wall. Let me go ahead and use the desk chair. Now, if you ever want the layers to change, for example, I need this chair to be under this desk. It's a fairly simple process. All you have to do is go up here where it says layers and we can assign to layer if we'd like to. More easily, I can just press send to back. So now it's at the back. Or if I want, for example, the space to be at the back, I can do that. And then the furniture can go on top of it. So now the chair is underneath the desk and I can continue to build this out if I would like to. For example, I could put computer keyboard. I could add my dual monitor setup that I have and I can continue to build this out in the way that I like. Now, let's say, for example, I wanted to continue building out the rest of the house. A lot of houses and rooms have irregular shapes and you're not limited in Visio because if I go back to walls, shell and structure, we have the ability to just grab walls and we can lay these in one after the other individually, changing their rotation angle or their length manually. This is going to allow me again to get more precise and I could continue to build out my house in the way that it actually is. And we can see that by connecting it, it automatically joins those two together. So let's just say I had another room that was randomly going this way. I can connect this here, connect this end here. And then again, we have the option to drag in our space. If I drag this down to conform to smaller than the space, right click and auto size. Again, we're gonna have our square footage calculation automatically made for us. And I can repeat that process in each of these rooms, which might be very helpful. And at this point, I can continue to build out this floor plan in any way that I want that would be most helpful for my project. There are many more tools that we didn't even cover, such as room measurements, got beams, window walls, garden windows, and so much more. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we've covered, drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any suggestions of your own, we strongly encourage you to comment those below. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.